He doesn't deal in commodities, but does buy shares in oil companies. Maybe he can tell me about his peers and why they're all so secretive. Um, I think it's easy from an outsider to view this as a very sort of sinister ploy by hedge funds that they do something very secretive and you know it's obviously it's got to be bad because um, they're not telling anyone. I asked Mark whether he agreed that hedge funds were having an effect on the economy. I think it's wrong to say uh, speculators are causing a $30 differential in the oil price. It, 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 the oil price is what it is. So you're telling me that the billions invested by hedge funds are having no destabilising effect on the oil market? I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I mean, who knows? You don't know. I, 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 I'd be interested to see where you hear that because it's something you read about in the papers. But to put a figure on it, it could be even discounting it because ultimately if hedge funds buy oil, if they invest in oil, I could buy um, options on the oil price, but the last thing I want is it to be delivered to my front door here. I'm not a fundamental trader in oil, so I don't want to take delivery. Well, I'm convinced. Surely there is some sort of limit for these financial tycoons, or a body in place to make sure they don't get out of control. This job has fallen into the laps of the FSA, who don't seem to be doing much at all. So in the end, I've come down to Canary Wharf to try and confront the FSA, the would-be regulators of hedge funds. They refused to set up a meeting over the phone, and now we can't get into their headquarters. So I've decided to go and talk to someone a little higher up. Well, you can't get much higher than Westminster. Vince Cable is the leading light on finance and economics in Parliament. He doesn't believe hedge funds are to blame for the recent rise in oil price, but does he think there's a case for regulating hedge funds? Well, there is a case for regulating hedge funds, as with all significant financial institutions. Hedge funds are quite different from private equity, but private equity companies are being now asked to be much more transparent and, you know, in terms of their structure, because they're competing against public limited companies, which are much more open with information and so there is, there is a movement there. And you, one could argue that hedge funds equally, because they handle a substantial amount of other people's money, should be more transparent about uh, certain aspects of their affairs. Should the FSA do more to regulate hedge funds? Well, the problem with the FSA is that it's not proved to be a very successful regulator. The problem is that the FSA has, has misregulated. It's missed all kind of problems most recently. It's fairly clear that the Northern Rock should have been anticipated by the FSA, its problems. The evidence was there, they overlooked it. So you're dealing with an organisation that is not brilliantly competent. And one of the reasons it's not brilliantly competent is that its staff are paid, well, maybe a quarter of the people they're regulating. There's a very high turnover, there's a lot of low morale, uh, and they're just not capable of doing the kind of very forensic, uh, detailed work that you'd need in a proactive regulator. So the powers that be aren't going to clip the hedges anytime soon, and the hedge funds themselves say their hands are clean of any negative effect on the economy. In fact, most of them just told me to get on my bike, and with the oil price where it is at the moment, that's actually not a bad idea.